What is going on everybody welcome back to my channel if you guys like sports definitely consider subscribing and with this video you guys can tell I'm going to give my predictions for the NFL playoffs if you've seen my previous predictions whether it's NFL playoffs MLB NHL NBA I'm awful at doing these predictions I never come close whatsoever but anyways let's jump into this video a lot of good matchups I'm looking forward to this weekend especially the Texans versus the Browns if you told me this is going to be a playoff matchup at the beginning of the year I probably would have laughed at you um, but Tamika Ryans has done a fantastic job Job with this Texans team, especially CJ Stroud, uh, obviously going rookie of the year. At one point, they were talking about him being an MVP candidate, um, but they're playing a very tough Browns defense, and I gotta go with the Browns in this one. Now, Joe Flacco, just what a month ago, was sitting on his couch, is now in the playoffs. Um, but this Browns defense is so good, I think they're gonna get so much pressure on CJ Stroud, in which CJ Stroud being a rookie, and especially, uh, especially in the big lights down in the playoffs. I think it's going to fold under pressure. So I got the Browns winning this one. Then we got the Chiefs versus the Dolphins. This is another game I'm looking forward to. I think this could be one of the best games out of all the playoff matchups. Uh, it's an arrowhead. Uh, I saw that the temperature is going to be zero degrees. So that's definitely in the Chiefs' favor um, for this uh, matchup. Um... But the big thing here is two is 0-4 versus the Chiefs. He has not yet beat the Chiefs. But come playoff time, I know the Chiefs have been struggling this year. They're not the same. They've been struggling. Uh, but come playoff time, Patrick Mahomes is a different breed. I mean, we've seen it come playoff time. Uh, I got to go with the Chiefs in this one. I got the Chiefs moving on. Then we got the Bills versus the Steelers. Um, <clears throat> Josh Allen can't make mistakes. No, he's turned the ball over a lot this season. Um... But I don't think it matter. I, I I got the Bills winning this game. Um, they still got a good defense. Uh, the Steelers' defense is just awful. Who knows who the quarterback is going to be uh, in this game. Uh, but I got the Bills winning this one. Josh Allen cannot turn the ball over. He's got to get his guys a ball. You know, if you turn the ball over, you know, Steelers could possibly upset. I don't see it happening. Uh, but Josh Allen cannot turn the ball over in this game. Uh, then we got the Bucks versus Eagles. I'm a big Eagles fan. I've been disappointed in the way this team is playing, been disappointed in this offense and the defense. This defense is terrible. This defense couldn't stop a shopping cart in an empty parking lot. This defense, it's it's a bad. It's giving a big chunk plays. We've seen it the last few games. I mean, look what the Giants did to them. They were letting guys, they were getting guys, uh, leaving guys open. Um, but the Eagles defense, they gotta go into this game and play like their backs are against the wall. You're playing a Bucks team that has Mike Evans, one of the best receivers in this game. Uh, Chris Godwin, in my opinion, one of the most underrated receivers in this game. And uh, Baker Mayfield, excuse me, you got to give him credit. Leading this Bucks team into the playoffs. Um, but no, I, I got to go with the Eagles in this one. I think the Eagles, they can get it together, especially come playoff time. Uh, I definitely think they can beat this Bucks team, but again, Jalen Hurts, just like Josh Allen, has turned the ball over a lot this uh, past season. He can't do it coming to this game. This offense and this defense have to go in there and play the best game of their life. Then we got the Lions versus the Rams. We got Matthew Stafford versus the Rams. Jared Goff versus the uh, Lions. Uh, script writers knew what they're doing there. Um, this is a tough one. It really is. No, Rams are one of the hottest teams coming to the playoffs. At one point, they were three and six. Uh, got hot, made the playoffs. Um, I'm gonna go with the Lions. I really do. I wanna go with the Lions in this one, uh, just through the fact that you know it's finally awesome seeing the Lions, you know, being good, finally making the playoffs. Um, but I think this has another chance to be a very good shootout. But I gotta go with the Lions in this one. Then we got the uh, Cowboys versus the Packers. Packers um, surprised me this year. I did not think they're gonna make the playoffs. Uh, but Jordan Love has done a fantastic job uh, since taking over. Um, I think since week 11, week 12, he's been one of the best quarterbacks. Um, I saw our stats. I think it was like 16 touchdowns to like one interception or something like that. That's absolutely mind-boggling. But he's playing against a Cowboys team in Dallas that's undefeated. That went undefeated in the regular season. Playing against a, a very good offense. Dak Prescott, fantastic this year. And they got CeeDee Lamb. CeeDee Lamb is a top three wide receiver. Um, and you're playing a team that has a very good offense, a very good defense. I gotta go with the I gotta go with the Cowboys. I just don't see the Cowboys losing. I, I know they choke every single year, but something about this Cowboys team is completely different. A very good offense, very good defense. I got the Cowboys winning this one. Then we got another uh a matchup a guy facing his forward team in the Ravens versus the Browns. Um, Lamar Jackson is probably going to the MVP, even though you can argue Christian McCaffrey. But Lamar Jackson, fantastic here. This Ravens team has obviously has been good all season, reason why they're the number one seed. I think coming to this one, 
you got to go with the Ravens. Um, I just, this Ravens team is so much better than the Browns team, but like I said, Browns got a good defense, but I just don't think they're going to be able to beat this Baltimore team in Baltimore during the playoffs. Then we got the Bills versus the Chiefs, another uh, rematch. These teams, it seems like they face each other in the playoffs every other year. Um, this is a tough one, you know. Again, Josh Allen can't, you know, make mistakes if this matchup ends up happening. But again, Patrick Mahomes come playoff time is just, he's just completely different. Um, this is a tough one. This is a toss up, but I, I know, like, an, a, you gotta go with Patrick uh, Mahomes in the playoffs. He's just a different breed. Uh, then we got the 49ers versus the Eagles. Like I said, I'm an Eagles fan, but there is absolutely no way the Eagles are beating this 49ers and San Francisco, especially during the playoffs. I mean, we just started, what was it, a month ago when these two teams faced each other, our beginning of December? Um, and Philadelphia and the 49ers completely blew them off the field. Uh, the game was over by the second quarter. And again, it's going to happen. Just Eagles, this Eagles defense is not going to be able to stop Christian McGaffrey. They're not going to be able to stop Brandon Uke. They're not going to be able to stop Debo Samuel. This 49ers team is built to win. And I just don't see the Eagles going into San Francisco and beating them in the playoffs. So I got the uh, 49ers being the Eagles. Then we got the uh, Lions versus the Cowboys again. Uh, I just think the Cowboys defense, their offense has been fantastic all season. Dak Prescott has been doing very well. So I got the Cowboys beating the Lions. Then the uh, AFC matchup we got in the championship, we got the uh, Ravens versus the Chiefs. Um, I know a lot of people are picking the Ravens, but I'm going to go with the Chiefs in this one. Again, Patrick Holmes come playoff time is just a different breed. I got the uh, Chiefs winning in this one. Then we got the Cowboys versus the 49ers. I, if this would be such a good MSG championship if it happens. These two teams played in uh, played each other in the division round last year. Um, 49ers won, but I think this time, just this Cowboys team, again, the defense, their offense. I mean, this game will be a shooter if it does happen. Um, I hate to say it, being an Eagles fan, I don't want to do it, but I got the Cowboys finally reaching the Super Bowl for the first time in 28 years. Then we got the Cowboys versus the Chiefs. Um, Chiefs beat the Eagles in the Super Bowl last year. I'm still salty about it. Um, and I hate the Cowboys being an Eagles fan, but I may sound crazy. I think this is the Cowboys year. I really do. I think this is Dak Prescott's year. I think they're going to finally, you know, break that hump of you no know, 20 and you no know, eight years from not winning the Super Bowl. You know, always choking in the playoffs. I think this year they break the hump. Um, they're just built all around. Uh, Mike McCarthy has done a fantastic job. Offense, defense, it's all there. Dak Prescott. Great quarterback, in my opinion. I know a lot of people give him crap. So, uh, I'm going with the Cowboys to win the Super Bowl. As an Eagles fan, I know that's crazy. And I shouldn't do it. But, I don't see the Eagles getting to the Super Bowl. I don't. With the offense and the defense ways from playing. But this Cowboys team, they're the best team in the NFC. And I, I just really don't see any team. I mean, you got you can say the 49ers. I know I sound a little crazy right there. The 49ers are great, but... I gotta go with the Cowboys. Now I got the Cowboys winning the Super Bowl as much as I don't want to do it. Uh, hopefully I'm wrong. Like I said, I'm always bad on these predictions. But um, I got the Cowboys winning the Super Bowl. I got uh, the MVP being Dak Prescott. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I really do. I want to bring you guys more content. I have not been very good with this channel lately. I'm sorry about that. But anyways, again, if you guys are new, definitely consider subscribing. I hope you guys team. I hope your guys team made the playoffs. If they didn't. There's always next year. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the playoffs. You guys are the best, and you'll be definitely seeing more uh, more of me soon. I'll see you guys later. Go Birds.